During this lesson, you will be required to fill out a worksheet. I recommend you read through the worksheet before viewing the lesson. In order to give you time to do this, you can use the pause button at the bottom of the screen. Learning outcomes. By the end of this lesson, you should be able to state why brick walls are reinforced, list five methods used for reinforcing walls, list two bonds which accommodate rod reinforcing, reinforced brickwork. The designers of modern buildings are constantly using new techniques, methods and materials to provide structures with increased strength and reduction in loading. The reinforcement of brick walls allows for a reduction in wall thickness. When walls are reinforced above openings, the compressive strength is increased because the brickwork acts as a beam. Types of reinforcement commonly used. Exmet expanded metal mesh. BRC brick force. BRC wall force. BRC brick tar and rod reinforcement. 1. Exmet expanded metal mesh. This is a diamond shaped mesh. It is supplied in lengths of 18 meters and widths of 60, 175 and 300 millimeters. It should be enveloped within the mortar bed it is used to resist both horizontal and vertical pressure brick force this is a welded product consisting of two parallel wires joined by cross wires every 304 millimeters it is it is 3 mm thick, comes in 3 m lengths and widths of 60 and 160 mm. While it is used to resist horizontal pressure, it also adds considerable compressive and tensile strength. Wall force. It looks like brick force but is used for cavity walls. It is supplied in 3.15 m lengths. Four wires run parallel along the length, joined by welded cross wires with a drip, which takes the place of the conventional wall toys, and these are spaced at 450 mm centers. Brick tar. Stainless steel wire mesh supplied in rolls of 25 or 75 meters long, and widths ranging from 50 to 300 mm. This is probably one of the most common types of reinforcing used on site today. Used for reinforcing over our openings, bonding and strengthening corners and intersections. Rod reinforcement. 12 to 20 mm diameter bars are used to tie together with 3 mm tying wire. It is used vertically to resist lateral stresses and reduce wall thicknesses. Some of the bonds that accommodate rod reinforcement can be seen here below. First we have stretcher bond uh, with hollow walls with concrete fill. So we can see the stretcher bond has been built leaving a gap in the center of the wall which can accommodate the rod reinforcement plus some concrete fill. Next we have quetta bond which accommodates the rod reinforcement because small pockets are left, uh, vertical pockets are left all the way up the whole height of the wall. Alternatively, we could use uh, specially formed perforated bricks, which accommodate the rod reinforcement. Or rat trap bond, which also leave uh, pockets up the center, uh, vertical pockets all the way up the entire center of the wall. 
which can accommodate the rod reinforcement. And in this case, the same as uh, with Quetta Bond, uh, around the rods can be filled with concrete. Here's a method used for reinforcing uh, thick walls using diagonal bond. We can see our standard stretcher bond is used and then on alternate courses we have uh, the introduction of diagonal bond. Here we have a table showing the recommended positions for reinforcement above openings. So for example if you had an opening with a span of 1.2 meters they recommend you reinforce two courses of brick above that opening and that there is a minimum of 600 millimeters of brickwork built above that opening also. Conclusion Reinforced brick walls allow for a reduction in wall thickness and for increased strength. Walls can be reinforced using the following Expanded metal mesh Brick force, wall force, brick tar, and rod reinforcement. Quetta bond and rat trap bond accommodate rod reinforcing.